one of the greatest things that you can do is cultivate a sense of restfulness within yourself. A restfulness that no matter what is your current experience, no matter what situation is arising, what emotion is present, what thought or scenario may be playing in mind, that this restfulness remains committed to. Because in the beginning, it has to be a commitment, right? And over time, you will see that this restfulness will not be lost in the midst of activity, in the midst of perhaps a turbulent experience or an uncomfortable situation or emotion. In the beginning, why I say you must commit to this is because there will be certain experiences where the mind will say it's not possible. You know, this is a very tragic or this is a very hard, difficult situation. And I, you know, I usually don't do well and I don't want to practice right now or whatever. But if you can commit to this restfulness, this ease deep within yourself from where you perceive even this difficult situation, then this restfulness will soon start becoming the ground of your existence. When I say deep within yourself, I do not mean somewhere far within. You are the deepest element. You are already f that deepest essence from where you perceive. So this restfulness that I talk about being so deep is actually at the core of your beingness. And if you learn to, at the, in the beginning at least, just commit to this, to choose this restfulness, even in a turbulent circumstance, then it will start becoming an ever-present factor in your day-to-day -day life. And you will be able to not lose sight of this restfulness, even within suffering. The suffering itself will be transformed and it will be given equal validity of an experience just as joyfulness. When you never lose sight of this restfulness, then experience is no longer a problem. It's no longer just a division between positive and negative, but rather experience being experience. And you learning to move through any experience with a certain integrity, with a certain ease, peace, happiness, joy and not succumbing to your lower nature, lower emotions, lower motives, lower tendencies. Rather, always coming from love, from unity, openness, understanding, longer-term perspective. So this is possible. I say this because this place of restfulness already lies deep within you, ever existent, ever present. Commit to it and allow it to surface as an ever present factor of existence.